Hello everyone, welcome to Webtech Knowledge. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can make login and registration system in Laravel using JSTeam. And I will show you everything from the very beginning, step by step. So first of all, I will just go to my folder over here and I will open a command prompt over here. I will show over here CMD, then press enter. So it will open a command prompt. So let's go and create a fresh Laravel project. So I will say over here Laravel new and let's say our project name will be Laravel login registration reg press enter so it will create our laravel project so it will take like two minutes so i'll just fast forward the video so here you can see the project creation is complete so let me just show you the project so over here you can see laravel login registration so let me just go to the project directory so here you can see this is our laravel project so let's open another command prompt over here i'll say again over here cmd and this time we'll run the project so for run the project we need to say over here php artisan serve so here you can see so right now let me just copy this so we'll go to our browser so we we'll just paste it over here and if we press enter here you can see this is our freshly created laravel project so right now in order to make login and registration we need to write a few more command so for it let's go to our project directory and let's open another command prompt so here we are in the project directory and let's open another cmd over here so right now we are going to install JSTeam in our Laravel project. So we are going to say over here composer. Let me just zoom in. Composer require Laravel slash JStream. Then if we press enter, it will install JSTeam in our Laravel project. So here you can see JSTeam is installed. So after JSTeam, we are going to install Liber. So for installing Liber, we need to say over here PHP artisan jstream clone install live wire l-i-v-w-i-r-e and if we press enter it will install live wire in our project so live wire installation is also complete so right now we'll say npm install press enter and after npm install we'll say npm run build and again press enter so npm run build is also done so right now if we just refresh our browser we'll get an error right now let's refresh over here so here you can see we got an error because we did not create a database for our project so first of all let me just open the xamp over here let's open xamp control panel and i'll start the apache and mysql and after that we'll go to our xamp over here pc my admin so here you can see currently we are in the PSC my admin so here you can see a new option over here let me just zoom in over here here you can see new option and if i just click new over here you will see option for database name but before we give the database name let me just open the project using code editor so let me just select the folder open folder and our project was laravel login registration so i'll select this and select folder so right now uh, we'll directly just go to the dot env file in the folder here you can see dot env file and inside dot env file here you can see db underscore database equal to by default this they select the project name as the database name so we'll just copy this and we'll go to our pc my admin and over here in the database name we'll paste it over here and then we'll click over here create so database is created over here and here you can see this is the database and there is no table over here so right now what we need to do is that we need to go to the common prompt and we need to write over here PSP addition migrate so if we write PSP addition migrate it will migrate some table in our database so let me just show you the table over here so right now in our project if we go to our here database then migration and over here you can see lot of table over here here you can see user password preset table two factor column phase jobs and in the user table here you can see name email and some other column over here if you want you can add a few more field over here so we'll just keep it the way it is and right now over here we are going to say in the common prompt we'll say php artisan migrate then press enter and here you can see some table is migrated in our database so right now if we just refresh our browser over here and then over here you can see in the laravel login registration we have few table over here and here you can see that table over here as well if i click over here user table you will see name email and some other field over here 
so right now since we just migrated all the table in the database so right now if we refresh it will not give us any error and here you can see we have the login and register field over here so let's go and register just click register over here and let's give a name over here then email and then password and confirm password and if you click register it will take us to the dashboard page here you can see the dashboard page so right now let's just log out for from here and just click over here yamin then click log out and then we'll click login and let's give the email and the password let's click login so we are also able to successfully login to our dashboard so this is how we can make login and registration system using this team in laravel so this is all about this tutorial i hope you like this tutorial and you are able to make the login and registration system if you want more tutorial like this then make sure to subscribe you will learn more laravel in this channel so thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the future tutorial